Hey, this is an impromptu session again, and today I'm talking about uh, essay crime in three hours. But before we get there, I would like to give you a quick, brief introduction as to who I am. So, for those who don't know, my name is Warren Warren Ho, and it has sort of been um, for the past couple of years my mission to teach as many people as I can the practical applications of self-defense training. Uh, so not only do I do the training, I'd like to give some education as well, which is what today's session is about. Um, I am based in Johannesburg, South Africa, and uh, some people call us the sort of the heartland of crime. South Africa does have crime, but not as, you know, so does every other country. And what I am going to discuss today is some of the crime stats that uh, we, we had from the last year, 2017-2018 period. Now, the South African crime stats run from a March to March uh, period. So in March 2017 to March 2018, and they released more or less around the September period of that year. So we're looking at the stats for last year up until uh, beginning of this year, March. Mm -hmm. The new crime stats will be as of uh, September this year. So I wanted to go through the crimes, crime that one could experience in three hours and just taking the stats and sort of dissecting them and seeing what is it that one could experience within three hours of South Af uh, of, of crime in three hours in South Africa. So let's go through a couple of the stats and please excuse the crude, um, the crude uh, board. Oops, not supposed to see that yet. But essentially it's uh, the most effective way to take a look at what we're looking at. So the possibilities of being hijacked today in South Africa is 45 times you could get hijacked almost 45 times in South Africa per day all right then being murdered you there are 56 murders per day in South Africa that's pretty scary 56 murders per day every day for 365 days as of that year that period your home could be invaded there are 61 home invasions per day and being sexually assaulted, whether you're male or female, the total stat is 137, which is also rumored to not be the true reflection, as if some people will not report the crime due to, you know, feeling embarrassed about it or, you know, not having um, faith in the, the law enforcement to do anything about it. Number of robberies, which will happen per day, is 379 and lastly the times that one could be that people have been assaulted there have been 880 cases reported per day assaults in South Africa so how does this translate to a three hour period and this is what I wanted to show you what can happen in three hours so in three hours this is what can happen you could be there are six hijackings every three hours uh, Correct. So there are more or less six hijackings every every six hours. Approximately seven people are, are murdered every three hours, every three hours, every day for 365 days per year. Eight homes are invaded every three hours. Seventeen people are sexually assaulted every three hours. There are 47 robberies every three hours. And lastly, there are 111 people assaulted every three hours. That's pretty scary, right? So what I'm trying to prove here is that in every three hour period, your chances of becoming a victim of crime is just over 200 times. Your possibility of becoming a victim of crime is 200 times every three hours out of one of these six what we call major crimes of South Africa. And that's pretty scary stuff. And really, I just want to emphasize in terms of you know, if you're not going to do any self-defense training, why aren't you? Because the, the stats talk for themselves in terms of what can happen to you in South Africa. And these are just South African stats. We are not the best, but it, we're also not the worst country. And really, it's, it's something which I think everybody should take their responsibility to do, is to educate themselves about what's happening out there. Number one, knowing what's out there. And number two, what are you doing about it? It's not to say become paranoid about it, but please do take some action to, to counter what could happen, the possibility of it being happened. Now, I, I often talk about people um, 
the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. As uh, some people might know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a triangle, and at the bottom of the base is what we call your food and shelter. Those are your basic human needs. The one directly above it is your safety needs. Things like this, being safe, being safe and secure your, in your personal security. And then thereafter, you have things like love and belonging and the, you know, the upper echelon, which is self-actualization. Now, I always keep telling people that you can't feel and belong anywhere and reach those upper um, higher aspirations if your safety level isn't secure. If you take your, that safety layer away, everything above it comes tumbling down. So again, I just want to emphasize this is what can happen uh, in South Africa, the six major crimes, and I want to also promote my, my, my three-hour self-defense workshop, especially for ladies. It's happening this Sunday, 11th of August. It's going to be from 10 to, 11, uh, 10 to 1 o'clock at the Bryanson Sports Club. I have a great special going at 700 bucks for, for two people, two ladies. That includes a workbook and going through more in-depth stats like this, as well as things of how to combat and how to, take, how to put your mind at ease that should something like this happen, what could you do about it? Now, there's no guarantee that it you know, it, it can prevent the attack, but have some knowledge rather than no knowledge. So I'd like to conclude with that. Please have a safe day. Please be wary of what's happening out there. Don't just walk around thinking that everything is hunky-dory, you know, especially things that have happened in the States. It happens here as well. But um, be safe out there, and I hope to see you at one of my workshops. If not, see on social media, at least getting the education. Take care.